I'm going to take you through a preview of the Brand Hollow Yard Number One. First thing you'll note if you've watched our videos is it looks a little bit different. I'm in the process of reconfiguring things and building the pads a little bit further out, more in parallel, getting them up a little closer to the field so they get a little more sun. You can see I have the makings right here of a pad and I've put these concrete blocks in to put hive stands on. This is a swarm trap that I'll talk about in a moment. This is an eight frame hive that is a new swarm put in it. This is a double medium that has nothing in it at this point. Again, I'll talk about that in a second. This is a nucleus hive. And in that hive, it has a false floor to create frames that will go in the top bar hive for the video that I shot a moment ago. If you look, there's another video from today. This is what I refer to as my citizen science hive. It has a broodminder scale and tags on it. And it also has a flow hive on the top. And the last one is my gateway hive. Hence the pattern on here. So let's talk about this one to start the story. This hive was three deeps and for whatever reason, it was not doing well and it still hasn't fully recovered. It was losing weight and it was really docile, like not doing anything, not coming, not going. Come to find out that it was prepping to swarm and almost all of the bees left and swarmed out of this hive, so much so that I had to collapse it down to one box. And this weekend I gotta go look in it and see what's going on and see whether it's recovering. But my guess was uh, they made a new queen and the queen hasn't gotten her mojo yet. So the, the hive is kind of small and not doing a lot right now. This hive back here is doing spectacular. And Originally, this hive had a medium, two deeps, and the flow hive on it. The point of that was I was hoping that the queen was going to build brood and build me a walkaway split for the medium, and I wanted to start an all medium hive. So last weekend, I pulled the medium out and I put it over here on this bottom board. Closed it up, let it go. I gave it a second box of food and hoping it was on its way. Unfortunately, they decided they had other plants and they moved out of this box and into this box. I don't know why, but they decided that this was more to their liking. So now the colony that I did a split with was, in, was moved to this nuke box, which happened to be sitting out here. Now the other story is, when that hive swarmed, it moved out and it went into the swarm trap over here. The swarm trap had six frames of bees in it. I usually run the swarm trap with two, but this one I happen to have all six in it. And I've recently relocated them and put them in this eight frame. And as you can see, they're pretty productive right now. They're almost to the point where I'm gonna give them the second box. Sitting behind it, one last thing to talk about so I don't forget. This is my log hive. I have a hole in it and I have it set up with some swarm commander and I'm hoping somewhere along the line to see a hive move in. It doesn't have the roof on it right now, but these are top bar frames, as you see, and they're all cut and I've notched out spots for the frames to sit in. So I'll have to put the roof back on this. I don't have it right now because I was working on things this weekend. So there you have it. This is what's going on in this yard. I think the hive looks, the hives look a little better in this configuration. And um, this hive right here is the last one to move. It's gonna get moved up to this empty pad right here uh, this weekend. And I'm also, I think, going to move that metal stand that I have and make a hive stand for nukes for my nuke condo over winter. 
that's all that's going on folks hope you enjoyed the preview